Welcome to Slim Thick Curls, Beauty and Lifestyle. Hey sunshines, welcome or welcome back to Slim Thick Curls. In today's video, we are doing a reset of our home. It is the day after Christmas. We just got finished celebrating, but where we're starting off is in my husband's closet. His closet has collapsed. <laughs> so all of his stuff is all on the floor. The room was a lot worse than this, but he actually started the process before I actually knew that he did. So I wasn't able to record it from the beginning. But trust me, it was horrible. So we're going to tackle this, get this cleaned up. We're going to get all of the wrapping paper and all the other trash that came along with opening Christmas presents up. And here you can kind of see some of the items that came out of that room, all the clothes, minus those, the food right there. <laughs> but all of that additional things, both did come out of this room as well. So this isn't how my husband would normally fold his dress shirts, but because we are just trying to literally get things out of the way, put them in bins, he's just doing like a quick fold. One then down, one more to go. My husband loves to dress, so he has a ton of clothes, a ton of shoes. Now in here, it is a mixture of some of my items in here as well. <laughs> so that hat and things those are not his. But saying all that to say, that is why there are so many clothes. With this closet collapsing, it was a huge, and still is a huge issue. So we did my closet over, my daughter's closet over, and we were eventually going to come around to my husband's closet because he wants a custom closet just like ours. Don't know exactly what day, what month <laughs> that is going to happen, um, but I do have some ideas. He also has some ideas as well. I was thinking about until we get to that point because it's super expensive for what we want to do, for us to do an alternative option just to hold us over. So I've seen a lot online where people have been taking the Target bookcases and turning them into actual storage in their closet. So it looks like a closet system. So contemplating about doing that as, like I said, it's going to be way cheaper to do it that way until we're actually to the point where we are ready to actually fully customize and transform this closet. So in case you're wondering why there's chairs and poofs and pillows and a full-size closet in this room, like is it a bedroom? What exactly is going on? Yes, this is our additional bedroom, but I wanna say a year or two ago, we did a full transformation of this room. 
and we turned it into like our little den relaxation room where we just come to chill there's no tv in here or anything we literally come in here just to chill whether it's us doing it individually or together sometimes as a whole family we're chilling in here but yeah it's not your traditional bedroom but it definitely is a bedroom Now we're moving on to the rest of the house upstairs. So we'll be tackling our kitchen, our living room, and our dining room. So I'm just giving you an overall view of what it is currently looking like. For some, this may not be a lot going on, but for me, this is a lot going on right now. <laughs> so definitely going to have to tackle all of this and get the house back right. On the table, we had um, some bread, some muffins, some cupcakes that our neighbors had made for us for Christmas. So I'm just moving those back into the kitchen and they were super tasty. I will say we have some really great neighbors. I love, love, love our neighbors. We did open our presents downstairs, but we did have our stocking stuffers upstairs on the fireplace. So we still have presents and leftover items from when my daughter and I opened our stockings here. So all of these clothes were dirty clothes that were in the room that my husband just cleaned up. Like I said, you guys did not see <laughs> the mess that was in there. Um, but he did have it all piled up so that he could wash it. But I told him, 
please just let me wash it. I don't know what it is about me. I just prefer to do all the laundry in the home. So I know some people are like, yes, my husband's trying to do the laundry and he can do it. It's just almost like therapeutic for me. So I'm like, I got it. I might be dreaming, there's no way back now Break every inch of my body Wanna dance with you all night long Dive in, babe, you know we can't stop this Come on and show me what you got Cause Now that that first load of laundry is started, I'm going to come over here and tackle this hot mess <laughs> that was left over from Christmas yesterday. I know Christmas has come and gone as I stated this is the day after Christmas that I'm filming this but hopefully everyone had an amazing holiday season celebrating and with yesterday being New Year's I just wanted to take a moment and tell everyone happy New Year hopefully you enjoyed the New Year as well. This area is starting to come back together really nice and I'm just here looking at my Christmas items and I actually still do have my Christmas items up still all throughout the house and it's currently the day after New Year's. I know for some people, they take it down right after Christmas. Some people take it down right before New Year's or right after New Year's. Now, if you watched my last video, you will notice that I put my Christmas items up extremely late this year because we did have some construction in the house, which was hindering me from being able to put it up at the time that I wanted to. But it's okay, it all worked out. But with that being said, I'm actually enjoying all of our Christmas decorations more than I ever had as an adult. Um, so with that, I kind of want to keep it up longer, but I'm not going to keep it up too, too long. I was thinking probably like next week or Martin Luther King's day to take it down. I don't want it to go too, too long, but at the same time, I don't want to take it down. So let me know, when do you normally take down your Christmas decorations?
So as you saw, I did take a load out of the dryer, so it is time for me to fold some of those clothes. But before I do, I'm just cleaning off this tabletop because this is where I'm going to fold the clothes. Now in my house, I will literally fold any and everywhere. <laughs> so in my laundry room, if I feel like it, I will fold in there. I have plenty of areas to fold. I actually have a, a folding table. Technically, when you look at it, most people don't think it's a folding table, but it is my folding table. I also fold here. I fold upstairs. I fold on my bed. I fold wherever I literally feel like it. So for today, this is where I felt like doing it. All right, sunshines, that is all that I have for you lovely people in this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Slim Fit Curls. And most importantly, don't forget to stay true and be you. Until next time, toodles. Mwah.